Hi, George here. Are you a photographer who likes taking pictures? You love the whole process of getting your models exactly right, getting your lighting exactly right, getting everything exactly right, including makeup, hair, everything perfect, but still have to go back and do a lot of digital editing and take care of things that you couldn't correct in your photo shoot. I know we've all been there. And of course, it takes even more work when you get into the digital editing to get everything cleaned up. For instance, on this really nice portrait right here, even though there's good makeup, good lighting, we still have a lot of blemishes in here. We still have some dark shadows under the eyes. The eyes themselves may be a little bit on the dark side. This could use some definite retouch, and I'd probably spend an hour or so carefully retouching this image. But what would you say if I could show you how you can retouch and fix this image in just seconds? No more one hour spent, but just seconds to do this. Let me show you right here. There it is. That took about 20 seconds for that fix. And I'll actually show you what I did here in this video. This is done using a series of plugins from Retouch for me. Phenomenal plugins for photo retouch. Very easy to use, very fast. And since this is done as layers, also very customizable. And the plugins can be used as standalone apps on your desktop, or they can be used as a plugin. Let's take a look at these apps on the desktop. Let's open one of these up and take a look at this. We'll look at this Retouch for me eye vessels. Double click, this brings this up. And we'll find a picture in here. And this one goes through and removes or minimizes red blood veins in the eyes. And it's going through right now and examining the image. They'll find those blood vessels and it will then minimize those. It's very, very good at doing this. We'll let it go ahead and finish this first run through. We can then go back and tweak if we want to. And there we go. If I zoom in, this is the end result right here. Looks pretty good. Let's just go up here, upper left hand corner, and you can hold this down to see the original. There's the original. And here's the end result. So that would have saved me a lot of time going in here and carefully retouching everything. Didn't have to do anything. It was all done automatically here with this Retouch For Me plugin. Now, this is one way to use these, but it's even better to use these right inside of Photoshop. And they have a plugin for that. Let's go ahead and switch over to Photoshop and see where that is. And I have a pretty standard photo retouch job right here. She has nice makeup on, but there are quite a few blemishes in here, as you can see, that still could need fixing. And we could brighten the eyes up a little bit, a few more things like that, maybe put in some more contouring in here. And whenever I do any kind of retouch, I always make a duplicate of the background, right click, and let's duplicate that layer, choose OK, just in case, because it's a safety to go back to. OK, now you'll find the Retouch For Me plugin up here, right, the Retouch For Me panel, and you can get this plugin right through the Adobe Creative Cloud desktop. Let's click on that, brings it up. Here we go, over here, right hand side. And this shows you all the different plugins. We just did the eye vessels over there. We don't need that in this one, obviously. We could possibly do the eye brilliance. I'll add that in so you can have more than one of these run at one time. Let's just go ahead, we'll put in Dodge and Burn and Portrait Volumes in here. Let's go ahead, we'll add in Skin Tone. And I have Heal at the top for some basic retouching. Now up here, you can either run this on the cloud, and to do that, it takes having credits, and they're not that expensive. And you can get 20 credits for free to try these things out. Just go over here, click on that button. Or you can run it on your own device right there. It doesn't require credits to run it on your own device. We will have to come through here and reselect the plugins that we want to run and then simply click on retouch. And before I do that, I want to show you the options for this. And there's one that is important. Go up here, little hamburger menu right here. Come down to settings. There are quite a few options as you can see. Search local plugins, merge local layers, merge cloud layers, process in lossless format. Takes, of course, more power. Use alternate server. including batch processing, your output format here, and also your subfolders. Now the important one right in here is merge local layers. What this will do is put all the adjustments and merge them down onto one layer at the end of the process so you have a finished single layer. Personally, I don't like single layers. I like having the control of having multiple layers so I can go back and I can tweak. So always make sure that, that is not checked. I think that's your best option. Okay, scroll down here, just click on close settings. And we're back over here again. So we have heal, dodge and burn, portrait volumes, skin tone, and eye brilliance all running at the same time. Now what all of these different plugins do, going from the top to bottom up here, we have Heal. That comes in and takes care of these little blemishes that we have in here. It looks for those, identifies the blemishes, and then takes them out. It's basically a spot healing tool. Mattifier goes in and looks for highlights on the skin and softens out highlights. Very useful if you have a picture kind of high contrast and you're getting some shine on your model. This will take that shine off. Dodge and Burn goes in and fixes larger areas that needs some adjustment. Your basic Dodge and Burn stuff in here. Portrait Volumes goes in and 
lightens highlights and darkens shadows and adds in more volume and three-dimensional look to your image. Really nice plugin. Skin tone averages out the whole skin tone and then pushes everything in that direction. Again, just kind of averages out and smooths out your overall skin tone. We've already seen the eye vessels. That, of course, fixes red blood veins in the white part of the eye. Eye brilliance brightens the eyes up. It lightens the whites, and it also brightens up the iris in here. White teeth, of course, is going to be whitening teeth. No teeth showing in this picture. Fabric smooths out wrinkles in fabric. Doesn't hit the folds or the shadows. Things where there should be some contour. But if there's obvious wrinkles, it takes the wrinkles out. And then clean backdrop. Works on your backdrop if there are problems out in the backdrop dirt, dust, things like that, it will clean those up as well. So I brought in the ones here that we need for this particular portrait. If you have a real nice high-end graphics computer, go ahead and do on device. But if you want to have everything done on Retouch for Me's servers, you can do that. And that's the Cloud Retouch right there. We'll do the Cloud Retouch. Come down, click on Retouch, and this letter run this whole process. Let's just go through all the different steps there. And there it is. I let that whole thing run. And it only really took just about 20 seconds to do that. And notice how perfect that retouch is. That would have taken me a long time to get this level of retouching on this image. And it was just a few seconds here with the retouch for me. So this can be a huge, huge time saver. It allows you to get back into the studio, get back to taking photographs, which is what we all want to be doing. As you can see, it does an absolutely phenomenal job. Now, since I had it set up where it was not going to merge, that gives me all of these in here as separate layers, which means I can then go back in and adjust those separate layers. I'm just going to hide things in here. We'll take a look at this layer by layer. So here's a portrait font. It's a little hard to see in there. Let me come down and I'll put in a mid-tone layer down here, just like that. And you can see how it's come in and it's added in some lightness on the high areas and it's added in some shadows in the dark areas. And that helps to bring out that 3D feel. Again, very kind of a subtle adjustment, but it did a nice job of that. Here's our skin tone. It came in and it worked on and accentuated the skin tones. That was a good job. Here's our dodge and burn, did some basic dodge and burn and cleaned up a lot of the skin tone as well right here. Now the eye brilliance, it comes in and actually copies out the eye section and does the adjustment right here on the eye brilliance. Of course, this means, and with all of these, that I can come back in here and adjust my opacity levels and control exactly how much of this adjustment is showing. And there's the heel. It went through and it found all of those spots and healed up all those spots. Again, did a beautiful job on that. Let's just bring everything back in again here. So there's the heel right there. Looks great. There's the eye brilliance. Again, real nice and clean. Here's the dodge and burn. It's just taking out the shadows under the eyes and a little wrinkle around the mouth over there. And one of the lines on the neck, it took that out. Here's our skin tone adjustment, very subtle, mostly up in here. I'm seeing it up here on the forehead. And then here's the volume. And it just brings it just a little bit more in the shadows and the highlights just to help accentuate that volume. But you put all those together and we get a beautiful retouch job in here. Let's see the whole thing. So here's the before and there's the after. As you can see, just a beautiful retouch job it handled this in just seconds. Now you can run any one of these if you want to as a separate app. We already saw how that was done with the eye vessels, or you can run them all together right here, just using these slider controls. We also can come in and adjust the sensitivity. This on Dodge and Burn, we can do blend and warmth. On portrait volumes, we can adjust the blend on portrait volumes. With the skin tone, we can adjust our blend on skin tone. And with eye brilliance, we can come in and adjust the eye brilliance. So you're able to tweak your settings in here before you hit that retouch. Personally, I just like to come in and adjust that afterwards very simply by adjusting the opacity of the plugin layer. Let's just bring our opacity here down a little bit on the eyes. There's no eye brilliance. So I can just bring this up until I'm happy with the level of eye brilliance just by blending those two layers together. I think theirs was just a little bit too bright. I'll bring it back just a touch. Just kind of knock the edge off of that. And there we go. Now you can get the Retouch For Me panel. This is a free download. The panel's a free download, but all of the different plugins are separate purchases. So get the ones that you need and then add them in. They're all showing here. Just get the ones that you're working with normally and they'll automatically be added in here into your panel. And you can get all of the Retouch For Me plugins over on retouch4.me and that's a number four. Let's take a fast look at their website. And this right here, we're looking at the plugins page on this. 
you have the plugins, you have an AI retouching tool here. Here's the Photoshop panel that we're using. They also have plugins for video as well. And they have free products in here. There's a frequency separation and a color match. You can get both of these for free. Just gonna play around with those and some resources in here. You can get some raw files for practice. You also can get hundreds of LUT files for some real fast color grading of your images, along with tutorials and facts and so forth. And on any one of these, if you want to find out more about that particular plugin, just click on Learn More. It goes right to the page. You can give a demo a try, and they're all available right from the plugins page. So in my opinion, this is the easiest to use retouching plugins program out there. and can save you hours and hours of editing time on your photo shoot. So if you're a photographer who loves to take pictures and is not so happy with all the editing involved afterwards, this is the tool for you. And right now with a special deal I made with Retouch for me, I got you 20% off of these plugins. You'll find a link for that right there at the top of the description. Click on that link to get your 20% off. And if you're not quite ready to make a purchase, make sure you take a look at their demos and give Retouch for me a look. I think you'll really like this set of plugins.